So last week, Netflix would release the trailer to their new animated series, Good Time, which is described as a reimagining of the popular 1970s Norman Lear sitcom. Slink, you are one of the voice of the characters in the show. Now, first, before we dive into, you know, people say, how, how do you feel? What, what was that like? getting that call to to be a part of this show. oh man symphony that was an outstanding call uh um man i think uh it came through carl jones devon shepherd uh renata shepherd i think uh i don't remember who gave me the initial call but i'm always happy to to work yeah first of all let's look at it like this to work mm -hmm. to work i'm happy to work when a lot of people are not working yeah. so it's just definitely a blessing to be able to work yeah. So I was ecstatic. Yeah. What made you want to be a part of of the series? Like when they said, like, "Hey, this is." I mean, to to be to to be able to be attached to such a a, a, a great ensemble uh, a cast of characters: yeah. Yvette Yvette Nicole Brown, J B Smooth, Jay Farrell, you know, all the great Marcy cast. Martin. Yeah, yeah Mar uh, uh, Norman Lear, Steph Curry is, is Seth, yeah. Seth MacFarlane is connected to it. And you know, again, back to what we were talking about earlier, Hollywood and the business, this is the business. Yeah. And it's dope to be on paper next to some people in, in certain regards, mm -hmm. in certain regards. You don't want to be on paper with, <laughs> on every paper though, please. <laughs> you don't want to be on any paper, just certain papers is good to be on with Correct. people. Correct. You don't want, matter of fact, yeah. You got you got to be paperwork, a certain no, paperwork, mm -hmm. not paperwork, but paper. Now, speaking of paper, have you seen the the reviews that people have been giving giving the show? Oh, I've been seeing some very colorful and very encouraging <laughs> reviews, man. I I'm, I'm I'm really loving them, man. I'm I'm so happy that the people are, are checking it out right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to be, you know what I'm saying, to to to, to, to get the spotlight on you for a change for the great things you do. I really appreciate that. Okay, well, okay, yes, yes, that because I will say when I, when I saw you post it, I didn't even know what what it was, and I think I commented under like you're so amazing, like I did love seeing you work, like that was my thing. Once I saw you post something, I, I think I saw like I didn't even like have to read everything. It was just like, yo, Thank you. I'm Congrats. happy for Slink to Thank be you. able mm -hmm. to still be working because you're so you're so funny, you're such a good guy, like, and I want to see you continue to succeed Thank to you. succeed. Now, obviously, there are some people, and I don't even know if people, from what I've seen, and I don't know what you're getting, they're not necessarily criticizing the cast. It seems like they're more so criticizing the brand, the show, yeah, the show, and like things like that. So, what's been your reaction to the criticism when people talk about, like, oh, you know, seeing good times in in this light, in this animated series? It's, um, of course, people are talking about like it being for kids. Like, I can't sit down and watch it. Um, with my kids, um, you know, seeing babies with guns and like all these different type of things, and, and I think that's that's your character. So what what's your what's your reaction to the criticism? Oh man, oh wow, Good Time streaming April twelfth on Netflix. <laughs> Check out Good Time streaming April twelfth on Netflix. Oh my my feeling is this, you know, I got I got a whole lot of feelings. You know, I'm, I'm a parent. I have five children that I'm very active and involved in all their lives and I love them to death. And, and you know, to point on what you said about it's not for children, it's not for children. It's not for children. I am a parent and this is a whole nother conversation, but the internet and social media is a Pandora's box that you have to control as a parent because it's not my job to raise your kids. You have to filter what comes into your home. Now, you as a parent have to be the one with the gift of discernment to understand reality and satire. That's it. Yeah. Some things are satirical. I'm sorry if it might hurt your feelings, but it's satire. Yeah, when I, when I saw the criticism, and like I said, we talked about it on the show. Um, my thing was, when I, when I heard from Eric, or when we heard from Eric Monty's family, like, not agreeing with it, the only thing I thought was, like, I would have love for them to... You know, be on the back end. But I again, that's, that has nothing to do with... I would too. I would too. Yeah, I wouldn't, I would that has too. nothing to do with the cast. But that was my main thing. was like, I, I wish they could have been a part of it on the back end. No, and you know, one thing for sure, you know, you stress that that's not part of the cast. Now, I, I never take it at that. I never take it as that. Because if it... I, I never take it personally because if it wasn't me, they'd be saying the same thing. Right. If it wasn't... Whoever... If it wasn't yeah. the people involved, it was a whole new cast they of characters. They still had They still had the yep. same thing to say about it. So that's neither here nor there. Don't knock it till you try. Watch it. Check it out, man. It, it, it's satire. It, it's, you know, no, it's not the original good times. It's like you're not your grandparents. 
Simple. It's a different. It's a different time. Different time. Different climate. You're not your grandparents. You, you know your your grandmother was a strong, virtuous woman. Now look at you. You was a floozy at the hu hookah bar. Mm. Your grandfather used to have a cold two, three jobs. Now look at you. You still selling nickels and breeding pit bulls. Shut up. Mm. <laughs> So, Slink, let me ask you, do you understand the backlash? Because I know this isn't the first time mm -hmm. that you've gotten it or that we've seen it. So do you, do you have some understanding of why people, you know, feel the way they do? Oh, absolutely. Them? Absolutely, Symphony. I understand the backlash totally. Again, I, with Black Jesus, it, it was under fire before people saw it, before people got a chance to really marinate with it and sit with it. People were really up in arms about it. And it's the same thing going on right here with Good Times, man. And it's all right, man. I just tell people, kind of chill out and just see it first. You know, bro, people love just crapping on each other, man. You, you haven't even given it a chance. You know, you get a, a, a trailer, a couple of images, and you're going to make a whole synopsis of it based on that. You know, uh, uh, yeah, there are a lot of what may be unsavory elements that people may be able to point out. But hey, man, it's, it's a cartoon. It's satire. You got other cartoons where that's absurd. A uh, uh, family guy, Stewie, uh, uh, criminal mastermind. It, it's absurd. You know, uh, all the crazy stuff that goes on on King of the Hill or, or uh, South Park. So, yeah. so come, come on, man. Stop holding black work up to such high standards mm. when like i said some absurd ass cartoons that are not black are critically acclaimed and people love it and people love people the absurdity eat it up. people are always talking about it and, and it's cra I, I didn't think about that like when i was seeing the backlash but ha like hearing you say that it's like wait like wait a second like yeah i i know people who love family guy who stand mm. by it i recently got put on to like the cleveland show and like the simpsons mm. and well obviously i've been on the simpsons but cleveland show but Seeing all these different ones that have, like you said, are, are a critically acclaimed, people eat it up. What's crazy too, and a lot of people are complaining, they 20 and 30 something, y'all wasn't even watching that show. Shut your ass up! <laughs> you don't even know what the what original Good Times really was. You wasn't even watching that shit. Yeah. You saw a couple episodes on TV Land and think you know some shit. Shut your ass up. And you know what? Some people would even say, like, the Good Times then was. Stereotype. Yeah, hell like yeah, it was stereotype. A black family living in a project with no food to eat, mm -hmm. a God fearing mother that wouldn't let you have no, you better return that money. Mom, I found it in the alley. It was sitting there by itself. Well, you got to find the owner. We ain't got no goddamn food in the refrigerator, mama. You lucky daddy didn't commission JJ to go move that sack, go move that word. You actually will um, have a show here in Atlanta mm -hmm. tomorrow mm -hmm. um, at Atlanta Comedy Theater. At the Atlanta Comedy Theater tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. at the Atlanta Comedy Theater in North Cross. Come on and check me out. I got a brand new canary yellow leather tuxedo. I'm going to wear that motherfucker tomorrow. It's going to be nice. I got symphony name airbrushed on the back. <laughs> That means I got it, and it's for all four days. It's for all four days, yeah. So my man day. B Tuck, yeah, my man B Tuck representing, coming out. He's gonna feature for me. I got B Tuck. I got uh, my my homegirl T Barb coming out of Detroit to hosting. I got my homegirl Dominique Larue coming out of L A. We're gonna have a grand old time. Whoever pull up, cause you never know. You never know. In Atlanta, I ain't no telling. My boy Rodney might pull up. You know, yeah. hey man, it's it's a party, man. So. You know, that's Rodney Perry that is. Shout out to Rodney Perry. Right. That's a real G. He is. He is. We love that's him That's my here. boy. Yeah, no, I, I will definitely try to make it. It's tomorrow, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Um, yep. So if you're in Atlanta, let's if make it. If you don't make it up. and I got this damn Laker, this, this tuxedo one. I feel like I have to come now. I got to cancel all plans. <laughs> I got her fifth grade I would definitely picture on the back. I gotta, oh. I'm canceling all plans. I got to be there. You got to be there. Too. But it, it's you. It's you. So I always want to make sure I show up for you anyway. <laughs> Thank you.